This is LaLoria Kanata, Policy Studies Librarian at Georgia State University Library. In this tutorial, we will discover ways to find a legal case using Westlaw Campus Research, which is linked here from the research guide. If you have a citation, you can enter it in the search box on Westlaw's homepage. For popular cases, like Roe versus Wade, you don't have to enter the complete citation. Roe versus Wade is enough. And let's search. <clears throat> Notice that the default was to search all federal cases. So if your case was a state case, you can select federal, federal here to see options to search a state case or a particular federal court, such as a circuit court here. And there's our case there. Going back to the home page, if you are not certain the jurisdiction for your case or you want to find a Case based on a topic, select cases from the home page under Browse All Content. Selecting cases limits the search because we are not searching the other content, such as secondary sources, such as American jurisprudence. Um, select the federal link here and then select states all states, so now we're searching both federal and states, and save. Now let's do a broad search on the topic such as criminal law as our keywords. Okay, with this search, because it is such broad, so broad, we have over 10,000 cases, which is too many to browse. So if you're not looking for a specific case, but rather a criminal case on assault and battery, you can filter this. One of the ways you can filter this is by using the key number. So let's scroll down and select the key number. And let's find assault and battery. So notice that there are two entries for assault and battery. <clears throat> One is the main entry for that key number. Let's select the second entry for assault and battery. <clears throat> and we get more options underneath that. Um, let's go to criminal prosecutions. So anytime you want to get more specific, you click on the link. But if you want to add, select add if that's the um, subject matter that you want to focus on. So let's focus on questions of law and facts. So I'm going to hit add. And so we're going to filter it by that. So let's filter. Okay. So I'm going to select state versus Bauer. It's number two. And this case was appealed to Court of Appeals in the state of Washington. So let's take a look at what we have on this page. You have the synopsis, which gives the background of the case. And let's see. For this Court of Appeals, the case was affirmed. 
So you have the holdings, and these are the issues of the case. So this case affirmed the lower court, which was in 2013. But notice this, there's a red flag, which means this is no longer good law regarding this case. So, And as we see here, this case has been reversed, was reversed a year later in 2014. <clears throat> So let's go to the more updated case. And this one has a yellow flag. And so what you'll find, you'll see a red flag, which tells you to stop. <clears throat> um, something has been changed in this case. Some f facts or have been treated differently. And with the yellow flag, some parts of it may still be good law, but it's telling you to proceed with caution. And notice this one said it was distinguished by this case in 2019. Um, so one of these holdings or one of these issues here may have been um, updated or dealt negatively. So you also have additional key West Head Notes key numbers here. These are broad, but notice it's um, going down if you wanted to get to another issue under assault and battery or criminal law. <clears throat> additional helpful information is also found in the tabs above. So the table of authorities. There's cases um, relied upon as authority by the document you're viewing. You can use this list to quickly validate or verify the validity of relied upon authority. Yellow or red flags associated with that reference tells you to either proceed with caution. It's one of the references has been revised. There's our original case here. <clears throat> you also have your citing references. And citing references are divided. You have other cases, uh, secondary sources. This could be an article, um, law, is, law encyclopedia, journal. And this is just what it sounds like. Um, it has citations to cases like you will find at the end of a bibliography for a paper. You also have the history of the case. So you can see the origination of the case as well as the timeline. And so we see that State versus Bar started in 2013 here. Reversed by 2014. And the negative treatment of this case. Um, this is where you will see the listings of the yellow and red flags. So these cases have um, see distinguished by as probably a yellow flag. Some point of law has been distinguished in these cases that's different from the original case. <clears throat>